Science is unequivocal that human activity are the primary catalyst for this phenomenon. Consequently, as humankind, we are faced with a critical decision to radically alter our course or persist on the current path endangering our very existence. Undoubtedly, we collectively appreciate this predicament, yet our track record on course correcting is mixed. On one hand, undeniable progress has been made on several fronts. At COP28, we operationalized the loss and damage fund to support economic and non-economic losses and damages associated with adverse effects of climate change in climate vulnerable developing nations. At the same time, the adoption of the coming Montreal Global Diversity Framework was pivotal in defining the actions that must be taken under and within this decade in order to curb biodiversity loss by 2030 and set the planet on a path of restoration and recovery. I welcome the progress being made in the ongoing negotiations for a legally binding global agreement aimed at ending plastic pollution, including its detrimental impacts on marine environment because it brings us closer to mitigating humanity's collective vulnerability to a monumental crisis.